Hello guys, welcome back to InfoSec Patch channel. In today's video, what I want to talk about is getting your CCNA certification from Cisco. If you're interested in this certification, you can do it today and you can do it before February, before it actually gets revised and changed. In my opinion, today is December 9th, 2019. If you have the dedication for those two exams, you can definitely do one a month. And I want to show you guys what to do. I want to show you guys what utilities and tools you can utilize from books to simulators to real gear. If you're interested in that, where to get it, the whole shebang. So without further ado, let's get started and check it out. Hello guys, welcome back. So, like I said, we're going to be talking about the CCNA examination. So let's get started. So, this is the ICND-1 exam. This is your first exam that you're going to take when you enter the Cisco world. Uh, this is the first exam recommended. Uh, so what we should do here is go around and check out the objectives, the overview, the exam topics, the study material, and how to practice. Right, so the overview, when you start the exam or when you, when you start thinking about uh, scheduling the exam, this is the exam number, 100-105 ICND-1. Whoops, what did I do here? Uh, I didn't want that. Okay, so, you know, and this, this will give you the CCENT, okay? So once you have your CCENT, you can go on to the ICND-2, which you can accomplish and get your CCNA, right? So exam topics, say if you're interested in knowing what exam topics this exam, uh, what topics this exam has, you know, we have the, net, the network fundamentals, LAN switching fundamentals, routing fundamentals, infrastructure services, and then infrastructure maintenance. So you can hit show details here, and then I'll go in deeper into details, firewalls, APs, wireless controllers, start different topologies, star, mesh, hybrid, et cetera, et cetera etc etc right uh, so for example switching you're probably gonna do like spanning tree uh, frame switching frame flooding which that's fun stuff um, so you know MAC address tables 802.1q trunking trunk ports native VLANs uh, CDP Cisco discovery protocol different routing protocols right static dynamic sticky uh, not routing this is still on the switch sorry this is all layer two uh, I just seen static and I, and I, and I said routing, I apologize for that. So the next one is routing. So in here, let's see, uh, this is going to make me look stupid then, but I, I wanted to see if they had static routes in here. So f as far as routing, you know, we have router on a stick. Actually, I just set up a router on a stick in my laptop, um, to show someone into VLAN routing and did a, a little demonstration for someone. But routing on stick is, is, a, is a cool little concept. So you can just have one physical interface, but you can have multiple sub interfaces on top of that. Maybe one day I'll make a video. Um, I did a demonstration for a friend on Skype or actually on Google Hangouts or whatever it was. And maybe I'll make a, maybe I'll make a video about that. But, you know, default routes, network routing, host route, and you know infrastructure services let's look on that describe dns lookup operation troubleshoot connect uh, connectivity of uh involving dns dns is a host name that resolves to an ip address so say for example you go to google.com that's resolving 8.8.8.8 .8 that's your dns servers so server relay client um uh, so troubleshoot inside source NAT, static, st uh, static NAT, uh, uh, pool and PAT, port address translation, okay? And then we have infrastructure maintenance, okay? So, and this is pretty much, you know, if you want to upgrade the iOS, this is how you can do it. TFTP, you can use TFTP services to upload the, the iOS to the device. Um, terminal monitoring, uh, logging events, probably like debugging and all that stuff. So, 
That's ICND-1's exam topics. What you can do is just download the complete list of topics right here to a PDF format, okay? And say, for example, you want to start studying it, right? So these are give you the study, uh, study links to get each individual resource packet tracer, and I want to show you that in a, in a little bit. Um, and, you know, e-learning, ICND-1, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, you can go down the list. Okay, and then practice. Practice makes perfect. So this will probably, uh, let's see, consider testing yourself. So this is pretty much giving you probably a practice exam. You can test your 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 knowledge on the the exam topics. So that's pretty much the overview for ICND two, uh, ICND one. I apologize. All right. So if we go to ICND two. It's the same concepts, right? Like, I mean, the same way we can look look it up. I can put, I want to put all the links below. And um, so the overview, same thing. You know, we can check out the overview. Exam topics. The exam topics, the same thing. Land switching. The, you know, this is the percentage of the, uh, of, of the, per, the percentile that's on the exam. Routing. Uh, routing uh, technologies and all this cool stuff, right? And let's see, WAN technologies. So this one's a little more in depth. It's, pr it's a, definitely a more difficult exam than ICND-1. I consider ICND-1 a, a network plus from CompTIA on steroids. So, you know, it's a little harder than ICN, excuse me, than Network Plus, because Network Plus is a vendor mutual certification. So it's not like, okay, it's a Juniper cert, it's a Palo Alto or a Cisco. It shows you about all the technologies. So with that being said, let's go to infrastructure services. And same concept, you know, HSRP, doing all that cool stuff. Uh, uh, you can do voice, data. Uh, this is probably all QoS, yep, QoS concepts. And um, so infrastructure maintenance, same, same, same ordeal, you know, uh, you can go to study material to get the study material for this exam. You know, you can click on these links and I'm going to show you what I did, um, wh what I would do if I was to take this exam again or these exam. I never actually took the ICND-1 and ICND-2. I just took the one exam. But uh, and then you know, you can go to practice, et cetera, et cetera. So these are the two overview of each exam. And, and if you guys want to do these exams, today is December 9th, 2019. This, these exams end February 20th, 23rd, I apologize, 2020. You have two months. If you dedicate yourself from this day going forward to that date, it's definitely possible. You know, obviously, you can't go out with your friends every day and go do what you do if you want to focus and, you know, glue yourself to the seat and study hard, get all these, get all these, you know, get the books, get your, you know, read the books and get the technologies down packed. You can definitely do it. It's definitely doable. It all depends on the discipline that you have. Remember, this is an awesome thing. I love it. Enjoy the journey. If you enjoy the journey, the, the journey will be awesome. I love that thing. I look at it every day and I enjoy, I, I love this journey right here. But let's get back on track. So those uh, two exams for the ICND-1 and ICND-2 equals your CCNA routing switching. Okay, so let's get into the books that I would recommend. So CCNA routing switching, the official cert guide library. So this is, these two, ex uh, these, these two books are what I would recommend couple reasons. Obviously, it's directly from Cisco. So, you know, it's Cisco. It's Cisco approved, right? So, and from the books, uh, Mr. Odom is an awesome author. I read, I read his books and, and I enjoyed it. So, I would definitely recommend these books. And, you know, it comes in a bundle. So, you get both of them. And as far as practice okay so let's talk about labbing you have the you know you, you know you want to take the exam you have the books you read the books reading the book is not going to give you practical knowledge right so the practical knowledge you can get yeah, I want to give you a few different options you know you have simulators which is packet tracer packet tracer is a simulator that simulates the iOS 
um, Cisco images. They're not emulators. They're not emulating it. It's simulating it. So you can sign up. Once you sign up, you can download it, and it'll, it'll look like this. Okay, this is the Cisco Packet Tracer, and I just set up a switch and a router. I tinkering with this this morning, and this is the switch. And for an example, let's go to enable. We could do show IP interface brief, and I don't think I have any IP on this. And I think I do have a VLAN though. Show VLAN brief. Yeah, infosec. So I was just tinkering with this this morning. So, and by default, obviously, once you get into your studies, you'll know like by default, by default, routers interfaces are down. So uh, this interface is, 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 is up because I brought it up before. And the way you would bring that up is you just do config T, uh, interf interface gate. I'm the worst typer, I swear to God. Um, gigabit, zero slash zero, and then no shutdown. Actually, we'll, and, and we'll shut it down so you can see it. So now if we go back to the topology, wah, 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 there's red here, right? So now if we do this, whoop, not that. If we go back here and just do end, Show interface IP, show, I'm thinking about ASA. Show IP interface, show. So now it's down, right? So let's bring that up. And you know shutdown. And now that's gonna come up and you're gonna see this go orange. I mean, green and this one's because STP is probably learning uh, it's learning its state. It shouldn't be forwarding in a second if we just let this do its thing. Listening, learning, learning. Maybe I'm just very impatient. Let's give that a second. It's still doing its thing. All right, so all right, now it's, it's green. So now if we do the up hour one more time, boom, it's in forwarding state. Okay, so this is a cool simulator to actually, let's go back on on this. So this is a cool simulator to actually get your, your your hands on practice. Okay, if you don't have money, if you just want to have something quick and easy to learn to do the commands, to learn the commands and all that stuff, this is an awesome, awesome tool. I highly recommend it. It's free, ninety nine. You can't beat it, right? So that's simulating, right? Now, what if you want to emulate? If you want to say, okay, I want to take real iOS images. If you have a Cisco viral account, you know, all this stuff, you can use Cisco viral, obviously, but you can take their images and you can put it in GNS3 and even G, right? So let's just, I'm not going to get into too, too much detail with those, but um, GNS3 is awesome. I really like GNS3, but when you set up GNS3, it's a little tricky. You can, you know, you can do the free download, right? You can download it. You can set up a VM and all that good stuff. And maybe I'll do a video about setting up GNS3. Uh, I did a video on, um, I did a video on EVNG and you can check that out. And with, you know, with, with that, that's, that's emu simulating and emulating uh, Cisco's iOS, okay? So this is the probably latest one that's available. You just download it. And when you download it, it should look like this guy. And you can double click on this. I'm not going to get into too much detail. Probably blew it up. My computer's probably going to blow up now. Because uh, I have a million things open. So this will be GNS3. And then you can just create new project. And test. And then you can just go and I don't have anything really in here. See, I probably blew something up. I don't really use this too much. I use EVNG more. But yeah, I want to, and let's go back to it. But uh, this is a, you know, another way to virtualize your networks. Okay. So next thing, say for example, you don't want to use, you don't want to use uh, emulated stuff because you're a hands-on kind of guy, right? You like to touch things. You want to build it. You want to plug things in. And sometimes 
I like that better. Me personally, when I was doing my Cisco tracks, this, the MP and all that stuff, I liked the physical stuff because I felt like I learned better because um, I can see when things are unplugged. I can see when things are plugged in. I can see if it's a layer one issue, if it's a layer two issue. I don't know. I just feel like it's more it's more valuable. But today, everything is going virtual, right? So if you go to do an exam, they're not going to, you know, at a CCNA, CCMP level, if you do tissue routing, the route switch exams, you're not going to go in and, like, go plug stuff in. It's all, like, everything's due to CLI. So the emulators and simulators are perfectly fine. But, sorry, um, I go, uh, I, I talk a lot. So here is a little CCNA, CCMP routing and switching lab. This is on Amazon. It's for about 400 bucks, right? And it's sold by these guys. But you can just go on Amazon, eBay. Uh, I think I looked at it, one on eBay today. Right here, there's um, CCNA Lab. This one's for, I think, 300 Yep, 300 bucks. So this is if you want to get hands-on practice with your physical gear. If you have a few bucks to spend, why not? Do it. But if you don't, everything is, uh, you know, you can you have the free 99 version as well which is GNS3 and Packet Tracer. Um, so that pretty much concludes the video here. This is uh, how you would get started on your CCNA journey from the books and the labbing. And one thing, if you're into videos, okay, videos are awesome. I love videos. And I'm going to show you the best video series that I've ever watched, and it's CBT Nuggets. If I can spell. So cbtnuggets.com is a computer-based learning uh, company. And let's, I'll go ahead and sign into my, my account. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. You probably, you guys are probably going to see what I, uh, but I watch. See, I actually study a lot. 21,900, okay? But anyway, let's go to certification training. And you can do a seven-day trial for free. So the most popular, look at that, Mingya. I didn't even know this. Um, CCENT, the most popular, and it's from the main man, Jeremy. Um, let's go to, let's click on CCN, uh, CCENT. So if you look at Jeremy Chara, he's the, you know, the trainer for the ICND-1. You can click it, you can do it for seven days for free. And then, you know, obviously I completed this course. I watched this, see, you know, I watched him. And look, I want to give you a few little. Hello and welcome to ICND1. My name is Jeremy Chara. And I know we haven't gotten to know each other yet. We will, but I. I got to know him pretty well throughout these series. So he's an awesome trainer. I love the guy, he's good. So I would definitely recommend um, recommend their training if you're looking for, you know, computer videos and all that stuff. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you have, if you have any questions about CCNA, CCMP, any, any questions, if you know, and networking, or if you just want to have a friend to chat with, I'm here for you. So, you know, give me a thumbs up, smash that bell so you get new videos that come out and comment below. And don't forget, Please subscribe, share with your friends, and I really love all you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and have a wonderful day.